So now we're going to talk about evaluating products, services, or programs. So this is sort of just the use of questionnaires and surveys for evaluation. So when you're, when you're using a survey or even using just questions for uh, evaluations, you really need to start with the uh, correct evaluation measure. So there are two types of evaluation measures, um, uh, two types of evaluation, and uh, those evaluations are formative evaluation and a summative evaluation. A formative evaluation is essentially just looking at a program's process. So it's evaluating how well a program is adhering to the plan and how much the program is sort of um, diverting from its plan. And a summative evaluation is an evaluation of its outcomes or how well a plan, uh, program is achieving its outcomes. So again, evaluation measures for both formative and summative evaluations should come from the project program proposal. And, uh, and that's something that your agency would put together for you as a program proposal. Um, the program proposal would have the plan of what the program or the agency hopes to achieve uh, or how they, how they hope to achieve certain goals or how they hope to it get, get there. The summative evaluation, a summative uh, portion of your evaluation would be um, what they hope to achieve. So it's how and what. So the how part is the formative, which you know they need to identify the degree to which the implementation process deviated from the plan and how that is affecting the program's goals. And what is what did they achieve? So summative evaluations, uh, they, they need to capture to extent to which the program is achieving its goals or what they've achieved. Again, a formative evaluation is how, a summative evaluation is what. And both of these would come from the pro program proposal that your agency or group that you're working with would always have put together already. Um, and this would be like the pro they're talking about specifically in their program uh, proposal the process that they are going to use in order to achieve this, which is the, the uh, outcomes. So when you're designing items for the evaluations, you need to start with the corrective evaluation measures. Again, your evaluation items should be very specific and directly related to the object of evaluation. So much like what we've talked about before in items being very specific and not ambiguous, the questions that you're asking should be very, very specific about, say, the process or uh, the outcome that you're trying to collect data on. Um, they also should be very relevant. Um, if, you, uh, if you'd like, you'd like to, you, should, you should include uh, salient program characteristics. More specifically, when you're um, asking, say, about uh, how well Agency X is achieving its goals and the process by which it achieved its goals, you should actually ask not the general concept of, oh, how well do you feel like you've achieved your goals, but more specifically, how well do you feel like you've achieved goal A? How well do you think you've achieved goal B? And in the process of achieving goal A and goal B, or goal A or goal B, you were supposed to do X, Y, Z. How well did you accomplish X? How well did you accomplish B, or X, Y, and Z, so on. You could include don't know or not applicable, but only if those options or those categories for specific questions are really necessary. Um, it, is possible, it is possible that um, a specific question may not pertain to a specific item and you could just put um, not applicable. But that is usually the exception and not the rule. It is a good idea in general to ask questions that, about the program as a whole. So you could say, overall, how satisfied are you or were you with the um, XYZ program? Um, and you could also ask an even more general concept about a product. Would you recommend this product to a family member or a friend? And some open-ended open uh, items 
may be uh, useful for gathering information that you did not consider. And we discussed this earlier about open-ended questions and, say, uh, access to family planning methods or contraceptives. Y you may not understand all of the different barriers that some populations may have to, say, family, method, family planning methods or contraceptives. So you might want to ask an open-ended question, like, please list the barriers that you think are important to you. And the same thing goes with evaluation. You may want, you may ask a lot of questions specifically about the process or outcomes, but some aspects you may not fully understand because you're not part of the process or part of the evaluation of the outcome. So uh, you might just say, um, for any other aspects uh, related to the process of XYZ, please comment here on how well you think it worked or how poorly you think it worked. And you can do that also in a comments box added at the end of a closed-ended question.